And on top of that, you spend 570000 to upgrade number 31 Rider Road. And then you still charge at a 22% discount to the market. Is this kind of deal SLA give to other people? I'm going to, there's still a lot more questions I'm going to ask. Deputy Speaker, I think the debate is not going to end at 5.45. Thank you. Mr. Leong, I think the chair decides at what time the clarifications end. In fact, this is not a debate. Point of order, sir. This is an important issue. All Singaporeans are watching this debate. Mr. Leong, I don't disagree with you that this is a matter of public importance. Yes. And in fact, Standing Order 23 makes specific reference that ministerial statements be made on matters of public importance. Yes. But the second sentence in Standing Order 23 also states there shall be no debate. Mm. Clarifications can be asked. So there is no debate mm. whether under Standing Order 23 or Standing Order 25, which is a personal explanation. So the chair will decide when clarifications end. Yes, what I urge the chair, uh, Deputy Speaker, sir, is to be mindful that the topic has not been properly, completely clarified. When it's not completely clarified, please don't end the session. Thank well, you. Mr. Leong, I think uh, the response to you uh, is that we... Mr. Leong, I invite you to kindly take your seat. We've been debating... Well, we've, been, we've had four ministerial statements from 12.30 p.m., it is now 5.30 p.m. That's, what, five hours worth of toing and froing. And I think the House has ventilated a lot of issues. And I will allow about three or four more clarifications from members, and then we'll proceed to end the ministerial statements. It is not for a member to dictate to the chair when uh, business should end or start. I hope you can agree with me on that. Do we have agreement on that, Mr. Leong? Thank you.